a hold down man, suitcase this, my cell phone, I'ma charge it on walk with a limp, get it knocked off or missing, you gon' get it, next time I see you ass, you gon' need airlifted. Already know man, k for all TV man, back in the building man, y'all go ahead and hit that subscribe button man, and that notification bell so y'all can see it first. Um, today, I know y'all seen the title or whatnot, so y'all already know what it is we gonna speak on. I'ma break it down to y'all about what, it, you know, when people go PC, alright, for those who don't know what PC is, you know, it's protective custody, you know. They also have PM, which is protective management, all right. But um, for the most part, I'm just going to break it down to you like when you go PC, how people look at you, you know. Um, I don't know how, where they bring you or nothing like that, but I know like basically the typical shit, all right. So for the most part, when you go PC... Everyone loses respect for you because that means that you are in fear for your life. That means, you know, you you don't trust being on the compound. You know, you're not allowed to be around no one. If you go PC, you're going to be put in a cell with who, with someone else that's on PC. So the funny thing is, is you'll come across people that'll be on PC and then they'll be in the room with someone and that other person will tell them, nah, they ain't on PC. I wonder why they put, you know, this and that, this and that. Blase squase, you know, and then in order for them to put you in the cell together, both y'all have to be PC. Like when I was at Calhoun, there was literally gang members in the box with me that were checking in to get a hold of a PC. So like they'd be in the cell, we're in confinement, and the dude above me wanted to get his hands on the dude across on the bottom from me. So they were literally, he was literally you know, getting word from his brothers inside the box, like, so they don't, you know, want his head when he gets out for going PC. He's, he's trying to get, like, the green light to where they say, yeah, or whatever, and he's going to put himself on PC to where they got to take him out of the cell from the person he's in there with, and the only person that was in the quad on PC is the person that he was trying to get a hold of. Then go in there and smash him, do what he's got to do, and all this stuff, you know, whoop him, you feel me? So, you cannot be put in a cell... With anyone else, if you're a PC, you'll either be by yourself or with someone else that's on PC. Now, that shit follows you. Like, people that normally go on PC and that are in fear for their life is people that, you know, are on people's lists. Or a lot of people, you know, check in. You know, when they check in, they went PC. They checked in, you know, and they feel like they can't trust no one. Everyone's out to get them, you know. Like, they might be, it could be as simple as gambling. We could be on the spades table doing spades, and then next thing you know, these people get in the hole, this team right here, these two people get in the hole, $40. A day or two from now, they'll check in. They'll go PC on us just because they're they don't want to pay the money. You know, like, people do that. You know, they, they, they can't pop. <sighs> they will check in from camp to camp to travel more. You know, they say that the more you travel, the more time flies. You know, but... Going PC ain't the route to do it because you are not respected. Um, when you when you when 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 you get shipped from a camp in on P and you're under PC, <clears throat> you're gonna be put on the bus with everyone else that's getting shipped. You know, all y'all are gonna be going, getting shipped together. But then when you land at another camp, when you land at another camp, they uh, the warden have to sign you off to where you can't be under PC no more. You'll still be under investigated, like, you know what I'm saying? So, you'll 9 out of 10 go to confinement with the people who were transferred from confinement. Like, when I got transferred from Charlotte, I was in confinement at Charlotte. I got transferred and was on the bus with people from the compound and people from confinement, you know? So, when I landed at DeSoto, they broke us into, like, three groups. Me, I, I didn't go to confinement at DeSoto. I did at South Florida Reception Center from DeSoto to South Florida because they won't let you back on the pound from confinement until you're at your next permanent camp. And the only camp in between DeSoto and Charlotte that I stopped at was a reception center. So they kept me in confinement. Now, when I was getting on the bus to go to DeSoto, you got people from the compound. You got people from confinement like me. And then when we landed at DeSoto, I didn't go to confinement. I went straight on the compound with the people who were going to the compound. It's my new camp. My, my, my box time's over with now, you know. But there was a couple people who were going to confinement 
that were check-ins because even though they checked in at their last camp, they had to go through the box and everything through the reception center and landing at their next camp. They still can't hit the compound straight up until they get written off from the warden. The warden's got to know they're there and all that shit. So, and these are the same couple people that was on the bus with us that was talking all normal, acting like everything. And the officer came in there and got in his face and said, you my PC? You're the PC. You are. I know, I know when I can see when I, and went to putting down on that white boy. You see? So like, <clears throat> it follows you, you know, and, um. No matter what camp you go to and shit like that, you know, so like me personally, I've had people hit me up that I was in prison with, you know, like, bro, what's up, boy, what they do? Man, what's up, bitch? How you? you know, but in my mind, I remember they checked in, they went PC and shit like that. I can't surround myself with no one like that. I don't, I don't respect that, you know, and that's just me talking as a person because you won't get yourself in such a serious situation to have to go PC if you didn't put yourself in that situation. So nine out of 10, the people that get put in PC was obviously trying to live some type of lifestyle that they really truly aren't on. Acting like they were fully with it, fully gonna rock or whatever it is. So they got put in a position to where they felt like they could only go PC, you know? And you see it all, man. Like you just see people going PC left and right. You know, it could be someone, a tattoo man, or, oh, this dude, a tattoo. And whatever, and then the line gets too long. Now he owes like three, four, five people. Pe oh, checks in. Sick. Protect him. He's in fear for his life. They'll lie. They'll lie and say that they feel like people are gonna sexually assault them, or they feel like people are gonna, you know, try to wet them up in their sleep. I'm in fear for my life. Like all types of stuff. I've seen people hit the canteen window, spend a hundred dollars to get the canteen that they owed people, and instead of coming to the dorm, they go straight to the uh, captain's office and check in with their canteen. Like, people go PC, you know, because they're in fear for their life, you know. So, and it isn't hard to look people up and, you know, like, to spread word and find out if people want PC. You see what I'm saying? So, like, <clears throat> you know, you got a couple YouTube channels, you know, and shit like that. None of them are from down here that I know of, you know. But I know up top, you know, you got a couple channels or whatever that they say them people are PC, you know. So, <clears throat> It's just, to me, I don't respect things like that. Because here you're in prison. And I say this all the time, you're a man before anything. So, whatever you did to get yourself to land in prison. Don't get me wrong, people. some innocent people go to prison too. But, not everybody deserves to be there. But, you get yourself in certain situations to where you can't, you can't take the heat. If you can't take the heat while you're in the kitchen. Because, you know, pressure gonna bust pipes. So, they check in a lot. You know, and <clears throat> what made it a problem at Charlotte when I was there is, you know, people were getting wet up left and right and still coming back on the compound. Dudes would come out with their face band-aid up and then the dude who wet them didn't even get shipped. Sometimes, a lot of times they did, but a lot of times they did not also. You'd get wet and come back on the compound, you know. Now, <clears throat> and the reason it's for that is because confinement was so packed with check-ins with people go on PC that when the buses would come to do transport, the check-ins were the ones taking up all the, the buses. So you might go back there for under investigation for wetting someone up, or you're back there under investigation that you got wet up. You know, then police may put you on PC. If you get wet, they'll put you on PC, whether you want to be put on there or not. At Charlotte, they weren't doing that though. They give you the option. You sure you don't want to be put on PC? You know, like for real. You know, but then they play grimy too, because I seen them put a couple gang members on PC that didn't want to be put on PC. You see, just to mess them up with their brothers and shit like that. You know, so like when it comes time for the buses to come, all the check-ins are getting on there. All the check-ins are the ones they've been back here. They're scared for their life. They will not come off PC. They got a sign that they want to come off PC. They will not sign. And it don't matter if they sit back there in confinement for three months, four months, five months, until they eventually are on that bus. They are not coming back on that compound. And then that makes it harder to where when people come in confinement. Because then you have these cells that are check-ins. All these people got checked. So now it's like, dude over there on the bottom don't have a bunkie. He's a check-in. Dude up top over there don't have a, a celly. He's a check-in. So, But they're not compatible, them two. So now they start. So you'll be in the shower 
in the dark waiting in a shower for hours while they're moving everyone around that's compatible. Whoever ain't got a bunkie, they're getting a bunkie now, but they're moving everyone to where they're compatible to where someone that just came in confinement that isn't PC can get put in a cell. You see what I'm saying? And then, um, like I said, that shit does follow you. <clears throat> and um, it just ain't respected, like, to me. You know what I'm saying? Now, you know, a lot of people that may watch this or whatever, you know, might, you know, not saying you will. But if you ever find yourself in a situation and you're scared for your life, you'll be able to see clearly PC. There's people that literally check in as soon as they get off the bus. What can't we at? Oh, no. They heard about it. And then there'd be like 10 people right here refusing to go to their dorm. They're checking in. They're checking in. They're going PC. They want to even put on protective custody. Protective or NPM. Protective management. Like, they're scared for their life. And, you know, I can't respect no one like that due to the fact that I was really in there thugging it and hanging out with some real, real smackers. Some real heavy hitters. So, it's like, we can't have people like that in our circle. And um, don't get me wrong, we've had plenty of people that was in our circle end up turning, you know, go PC, check in, stuff like that. Because when them wars start, and when people go to getting into it, and people are really getting wet and hit, you know, shit like that, it brings the bitch out of someone. You know, it, it, if he ain't living like that, if there's any, if there's a little bit in him that is not finna mash the gas and hold his foot on that throttle when that war going, he's damn sure gonna show that little bitch part when that war break out. You know, and they check in, man. So it's like, you'll, you know, you might start off with a squad this big, but then after you done been there two, three years, it's like this. Because, you know, uh, oh, he's, he, they want to kill him now or him over here. They're after him because he checked in over there. And it'd be a little, it'd be a bunch of shit. And then people go get on that Tunchi. When they get on that Tunchi, they go to bugging and they go to getting paranoid. And they think their own brothers are after them and all that shit. They go PC. You know, because they know if they just check in regularly, they can put you back on the compound if they don't ship you. So they got to go PC, protective custody, so that way they don't get put back on that compound. They don't want to risk it, you know? So, but like I said, when you do get shipped, though, and you're PC, you're on the bus with people regardless, you know? Like, you're still on the bus with people who are in confinement from that camp or people from the compound. So you could get touched then. Like, you did some fuck shit you weren't supposed to do, got in the hole with some people, or robbed some people, or tried to kill someone, and then it flopped, and you missed, or now they're after you. When you go to get shipped, there ain't no difference from you. You're just on PC. Wherever you land, it's going to be different. They're going to take you and go put you in, you know. But as you're on that bus ride, you're still on there with with all different people. You might be on there with the same person you went through. It's with man, homeboy, or brother, or something like that, you know. So... Go on PC ain't the route to go. That's how I look at it. There's no reason to go PC. <clears throat> There's no reason. And I know a lot of people will be scared because it's it's hard to understand if you're watching this and you've never been to prison. Because, you know, like, you don't know the situations that I'm speaking on. You get what I'm saying? So it's like people that are watching this that been to prison, they know, oh, he ain't lying. He ain't lying. But, you know, people who ain't been to prison... That might be a badass on the streets. I'm like, man, I ain't checking in. Boy, man, I'll go to the man, shit, go PC. Man, I done seen the biggest ones. Like, the ones you would never believe. It happens. Like, it literally happens. And, you know, it never happened with me, though. It never happened with my dog, Shine. You know, like, we was in there rocking. Really going through it. And we got people to vouch. You get what I'm saying? But, at the same time, when I landed at DeSoto... I seen like 40 people I knew from Charlotte that been wet up that got placed under PC to go to Soto and all this or whatever, stuff like that. And they all were like, man, why frog land here? Boy, what frog? And they go to call on Charlotte trying to see, oh, why frog land here? Why frog land here? And then the rumor went around about me with some female officer in the barbershop. You see what I'm saying? But really, I got shipped for K-Frog TV. My last DRs were K-Frog TV and all my dogs know that. You feel me? Straight up. <clears throat> but, um... That's what PC is, man. It's when they're in fear for their life, so they don't want to be on the compound. They don't want to be near nobody. They can't trust nobody. You can't trust nobody anyways in period general. So now when you feel like people are trying to kill you, or if someone cuts you, say someone cuts you, and then you go land in another camp. But you got cut for no reason. You don't know where it came from. So now you're so spooked, and shit, you're going to check in everywhere you go, man. As soon as you feel like something's off. And it could be something you didn't even think about. It could be... <clears throat> You were eyeballing someone on the rec yard. You were looking at him in his face and he looked at you 
and then you look that you thought you knew him. So you're looking at him and then he looks at you and then you go like this and then he, you do it a couple times and he peeps that. So next thing you know, he sends someone to wet you. Like, man, I don't like how bro keep looking at me, bro. Let's get him from around here, bro. He might be, now you got these people looking at you because you didn't keep your eyes to yourself. <clears throat> and then you get wet by some random dude, don't even know where it came from. Now you don't know what the hell happened, where it came from. So now the rest of your bid, you're going to be petrified and worried. That's why you just mind your business, keep your eyes and your mouth to yourself and your business to yourself and everything else will be, you know, you, you should be able to make it through, you know? So like <clears throat> a lot of people get themselves in them situations and then they want to check in and go PC. I don't respect shit like that. I've seen hundreds of them. I had this big dude, real big like this, all cockied up, been down 12 years, fully tatted and everything. I let him get on my jack a couple times and everything and all that shit in my dorm. Next thing you know, he checked in under my name. I had five people check in under my name since I was in the Department of Corrections. They pulled me to the side, the officers every time. I had to sign the, the statement saying that, oh, I don't know why he checked in under me. Um, I was cool with him. We ate together. We played cards. All I know is he owed people a lot of money and he had a habit of smoking. You know, because people will use anybody like you could just be in the dorm and, and that dude don't like you and he'll pick you to check in under your name. Like, yeah, an inmate named K-Frog over here in the top corner bunk. His nickname's K-Frog. He's a gang member. He's going to kill me. This and that. This, and it'd be someone you don't even know. Like, what the f like? Like, yeah, it, it, it happens. People just to find an escape route. They don't want to look like a sucker. You know, like they want to check in. They owe this person money. They feel weird. So they're not going to check in under anyone that would suspect that he just checked in they're gonna leave not come back then they're gonna go pick someone up out of the bunch so out of a totally different squad a different set and bring him in there and then word will get around that damn bro that just went in over there in d dorm snitched on frog from e dorm you see like that's how they do it they don't want to dirty their face bro and they go pc that's just how it is you know people will check in and then their own brothers want to get at them so then they go pc you know that's like when i beat I beat up uh, one of the, my bunkies up inside the box for Shine and my dog Grouch. I beat him up, you know. He was a GD, and his brothers wanted his head too. But I beat him up for my dogs. I didn't give a damn he was a GD, you feel me? I beat him up, boom. I flushed him inside the cell. All, all the Gs were yelling, boy, that real, boy, that real, that real. And then I, I remember it was shower day. They brought me to the shower and handcuffs, brought my bucket to the shower and handcuffs. And I yelled out the cage and said, man, check this shit out, bro. I ain't beat him up for no Gs. I didn't beat him up for y'all. That's y'all's, that's y'all's brother. I didn't do that for y'all. I did that shit for my dogs. Front line, you feel me? Like that. And they were like, that real now, that real now. It got to the point to where all the gangs started saying front line, front line when they see me because they know I was front line. You feel me? So... But then they all want to eat him. They, they, they want to, they, 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 they're like, boy, you better check. You better not come back to this pound. Come back to this. Next thing you know, he gets back on the compound and they don't even do shit to him. They don't wet him up or nothing like that. Then word goes around that a neutron, me, beat up a gang member. You see how it, how it flips and flops. But they didn't do nothing. You feel me? See? You know what I'm saying? Because they were trying to tell him to check in, check in. He wasn't going to check in. He wasn't going to check in. He wasn't worried about his own brother's. You see what I'm saying? They just happened to put him in the cell with me. I smoked a cigarette with him. He's like, Fro, what's up, bitch? I'm like, what's happening? And then as soon as I was done smoking a cigarette with him, I'm like, boy, you know, they say you told on such and such. You know, they come to find out he didn't. I whooped him for no reason. You feel me? But it is what it is. He was already whooped. I don't regret it. I did that shit for my dogs. <laughs> it don't matter. So, um, yeah, though, that's what PC is, man, when people go into protective custody, you know, and and to me, that shit ain't respected because, you know, you basically, you know, you, you got to look at like, look at the things that you would not want to look at you any other way than a man. If you have children or if you have, you know, like a dad or anything that you want them to know that that's my dad, that's him, you know, that's him, my dad. You don't want to look like you a bitch to anybody. You know, you got to think about them. Like, damn, man, how my, how my kids would look at me if they, if they knew I was doing her. You know what I'm saying? My old boy up there in heaven right now, bro, I'd be damn, he looked down on me like I just ch checked in or something. You know, like, see, you got to you gotta think of shit like that. But a lot of people don't. They just go with the flow and they feel like, oh, they'll just do it till they get out of prison. I'm going to just do this until I get out. I'll make sure I'm straight. And a lot of people, you know, a lot of people that are on the streets, on YouTube, shit like that, don't went PC. And they just act like they ain't went PC. 
because they're on the streets now. But as you see, people are exposing, you know, people are exposing shit, you know, so that's what PC is, y'all. So um, I'm going to wrap this one up. Um, I appreciate everybody that's been fucking with me. You already know, man, k for all TV. And I'm um, just going to keep pushing this content out, content out for y'all. And uh, y'all stay tuned because, you know, that volume three is coming. Y'all know it's frog.